What's up, y'all? It's your boy Sincere B here with a small little preview of the new Windows 8.1 updates. And I'm not a tech guy, so um, I'm just a guy that has a Nokia 1520. I like the phone, and I already updated my phone, so I just want to share a few things that I saw. And we'll just leave the, the major tech stuff to the real tech guys. So I'll leave a link below of some tech guys you might want to check out when they do their reviews on the update fully. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. So first, if you haven't done the update, what you're going to want to do here is uh, every, I think every Windows phone is going to be getting this update. You can get it now uh, by going here and typing in pre preview for developers. I'm not sure you can see that or not, but um, get that. That'd be the first one here. Open it up, download that, and once you download that, then you're just gonna sign in, like right here on your a Microsoft account, and then that's pretty much it. And then from there, you're gonna go down to your settings, and then go down to phone updates, right here. Do your update, and then it's gonna take you through update. Go do a few reboots. A few installations it took me about 30 minutes to get it done and once you get that done then you'll be good to go and then if you want to just make sure you have it then you can just go up to here uh, about and it should say 8.1 um, right there all right so a few things to go over first um, as you can see here I guess we can kind of start from the settings and I want to come in things that I've seen. It's a lot to this update. So first one is start and themes. For the most part, it's all the same. You still got the light, the dark. You can't probably can see in the camera. Same colors. Pretty much. I wish they would gave it the black. Now you can turn your phone to black and white, but that's really more of a power saving mode. Um, and what it does really is just turn everything, you know, pretty much dark as possible and then your lock screen doesn't have any photos it's just gonna be black so not the same thing as what I want here I wish I had an actual black color but they didn't but it's all good let's go back the new addition here is to add a photo in the background so you choose a photo for example this is one of the ones that came with the phone so you get that you can crop it and then select it and then go back to your home and then you can see in the background that that is not a background that to me this has just took Windows Phone on a whole nother level. Ain't nothing new technology here. Other phones are already doing things like this. But for Windows Phone, it puts it in the same, to me, playing field as the other top contenders. You know what I'm saying? So again, let's go back to the settings. Oops, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, settings. Start theme. Put it back. For me, I had that dog mall. Right there, select yes, and then I'm up in there like somewhere. Good to go. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go back to settings. Again, I'm just going quick through. I'm not going through the major here. Just go through some of the things here um, that I'm seeing. Oh, sorry here, my iMac is tripping. Must be getting a little jealous. Data sense, story sense. So storage sense here, um, you can see now I kind of made some changes here. Uh, you know, so for store, you know, music and videos, I got on my SD card. Photos, I'm still having those on my phone. But now apps, I'm now being able to put those on the SD card. And because uh, you know the original 15, uh, 20 memory is really little. So it does have the SD card and my SD card is small, but I think you can do up to 128 gigabyte SD card now with the new update so that's pretty sweet so I will I will update to that pretty soon so that's new right there so now you can save your apps to that so that's cool uh, what else here pretty much pro, uh, project my screen um, driving quiet hours so that's pretty much it for right here um, let's go back let's take a look at the uh, market store which I think is really really sweet look I did a really good job on that and the camera not gonna really do any justice to this kind of thing but the screen is just beautiful everything is so crisp I love how the uh, the icons of the apps is nice and huge um, of course this is a six inch phone but um, 
and, and it, the crispness of it. I mean, look at the the words and everything. It just looks so clean to me. Like I wanted to sit here and just surf and look for app just because of the way it looks. And again, it, the camera might not be doing any kind of justice, but they did a really good job on this. So let's take out the top apps, hit that. So you can see, I mean, just really, really clean layout, man. I'm just really impressed with the layout of him. Okay. And that's pretty much the app store. They did a really good job on that. Again, not getting really in depth to that. So uh, next thing will be probably notifications. What I noticed, I'm uh, nothing here yet, but it does work. Uh, uh, I had some earlier, but you got your uh, Wi-Fi hand, Bluetooth, airplane mode, rotation lock, and automatic. You can change your bright settings right there. And if you click on all settings, it's just really going to take you back to settings. So this is really nice. Again, nothing new. Other phones already have this, but for Windows Phone, it's nice. And it's, it puts Windows to me on a, on, a, on, a, on a good playing field with everybody else. So that's what this is all about. Um, let's see. Um, one other thing here um, is as far as getting rid of apps. You still have the hit the back button X out, but now you can swipe down now. So that's three two. Again, nothing new. We're not saying it's anything new or spectacular, but for Windows Phone, it is new and it puts them on the same playing field. I want to make that clear. You know, we're not saying this is revolutionary, revolutionary, and it's changing the whole cell phone world. It's not what this is for. It's just for it's just an update. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah. So one of the main things people probably want to really look at is Cortana. Let's go ahead and check her out. Now with her, um, when you first uh, um, um, open her up, you go through a series of questions so she kind of figure out who you are, just like that. Like, you asked me what I want to have first to show up. And I wanted to have, like, headline news and then after that, sports. And that's what she actually set that up with. So when you open her up, that's what I'm going to get first. My, some headline news, then scroll down, then sports. Like, I want all my Texas teams, then Seattle teams. That's what it, that's what it does. Now, to give her more information for her, like her notebook for his interests, and um, like for example, I click interests, I can add more things here too by just hitting the plus sign and food. I'm a teams, you know, you can update that with that. Same thing with the uh, quiet hours, inner circle place, and settings. Settings here, have it on, display your name, have her change your name, you have her make sure she say your name. Integrate with Facebook, battery saving mode, speech settings. Um, it says it has male voice there, but maybe just for navigation. I try to do male voice on Cortana, but it just came in the female, so I think this is just for navigation uh, for the male and female voice. So, uh, so that's there. And and search settings, so that's pretty much it for settings. So let's go ahead and uh, let's take her out for a spin. All right. Let's see. And, and and I have a real southern slur, so it's hard for people to understand me. I talk fast, I talk with a slur, but she picks up my voice every time. It's just to me, I don't have anything that captured my voice as well as this as this does. So let's try it. How tall is Michael Jordan? Six feet six inches tall. Alright. And remember this is still in beta, so something she's still taking you to the internet for. But um, again, this is the only beta. It's gonna get better. Yeah. Who won the Masters? I've got the latest on who won the Masters. So you can see, it took it to the web, but she still responded though. So um, let's see. Um, did the Houston Rockets win today? Currently. The Houston Rockets are leading the San Antonio Spurs 64 to 56 in the third quarter. See, what's the weather tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow shows it'll be partly sunny with a high of 57 and a low of 46. Okay, nice. Is there a Starbucks close by? Here are 10 locations for Starbucks. I'm going to do a little slang in there see if you get it. What's the nearest pizza joint? It's about five miles away. She figured out where the joint was, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see here. Um, all right, it is uh, 634 right now. 
Remind me to call my mother at 6.36 p.m. today. All right. Remind you to call my mother at 6.36 p.m. today. Sound good? Yes. 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 Okay, so I'm not sure what happened right Try it again. Remind me to call my mother at 636. Oh, oh, it was lagging. Okay, my bad. It was a little lag there. Okay, so you got it. So let's go back in the home place here. Home page here and just hang out. So, because uh, I want to see it, it is now 635. So it should go off in a minute. But, uh, so far, the, the features that I'm seeing so far really is something that Windows really, really needed to get people to kind of pay attention to Windows Phone to say, hey, you know what? We're serious. We're serious right now. We want to get into the game, and, and this update is huge, and it, it's definitely, to me, putting them into the game. Uh, and maybe people will now look at it and say, you know what? Hey, it's, maybe it's not a bad phone to get because it's not. Uh, and it used to be the situation was the app situation, lack of apps, but the apps are there. Um, now, if you're a, a gamer, then yeah, it lacks some gaming apps still. Before all the basic apps you need, Twitter, the Vines, Instagrams, all that's there, Facebooks, all that's there now. So there's no, really no need to, to say that that's the reason. Uh, the camera is the bomb, you know that already. The uh, photographs, video, they go to, they go to um, the reminder right there, so it works. Katana is sweet. Let's have some fun with it now. Where are you from? Human ingenuity. Battery required. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Cortana. Do you know Siri? I want to reach out, but all they gave me is an iPhone 3G. <laughs> Do you like Google? Impressive achievement. Still, I get everything I know from Bing. Mm. All right, then. Let's see. Um, what's another question I can ask, sir? Um, um, are you married? Okay, now that's that. Um, do you have a boyfriend? Okay, but we'll need a plan. I'll work on being more human. You work on being more digital. <laughs> what? I'm trying to get in a freaky girl. What's up with that? So you can see, you know, um, it, it's kind of real, actually a little more personal for as conversation-wise. Um, let's see. Um, so... I, I like Cortana already. I already feel really close to her already. I'm just kidding. Um, so, so far, that's it for a little small preview again. I'm not a tech person. This is something that I went over when I downloaded it. I liked it. And I wanted to share it. So, hope this uh, kind of guides you to at least be able to get the download. I'll leave a link down below to some guys like Borderworks and uh, Lifestyle Defined. They they probably going to be doing some uh, true um, look at these updates um, and give you some real good information that I that I just can't provide for you. Uh, but if you do enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, please share the video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. We'll come back again and bring a friend. It's your boy Sister B. I'm out of here. Peace.